Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's Noble Beer Views. <clears throat> Today I have another beer from Hill Farmstead Brewing Company out of Greensboro, Vermont. Um, this beer is their Double Galaxy, so it's a double IPA um, brewed specifically with Galaxy. I believe on Rate Beer way back in the day when I was uh, big on that website, um, I think... This one, the double, it was e either a double galaxy or one of the um, Society in Solitude, but I think this one was their highest rated um, hoppy beer, I believe. Uh, and I have had this like one time, but it was four, maybe five years ago, so it's been forever. Who knows if it's exactly even the same recipe anymore. I've not had it since they started uh, canning, so I'm pretty interested to uh, give it a go. This is 8.0 ABV. <laughs> Get the remaining water out of there. <clears throat> so these guys are basically the the OG of uh, hazy IPAs. Um, so it's always nice to go back to to try theirs. I mean, between being the OG and being the best brewery on the planet, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's, um, it's nice to, you know, usually I just get like their, their barrel aged saisons or their stouts because those are the ones that are hard to get in to seek out and I try not to trade for, um, hoppy beers just because there's a lot of good, a lot of breweries make good uh, IPA, so I wouldn't generally trade like just for their hoppy beers, which I didn't, um, but I, someone offered up uh, a bottle of Juicy and, um, also cans of Marie, which is their unfiltered version of uh, Mary, and I've never had that before, so that I actually really did want to try. Um, and I've had Juicy before, but it, it's a great beer, so I definitely don't mind ever having that in stock either. Anyways, uh, pours a um, pretty cloudy, nice uh, golden to like orange pulp, uh, orange pulp uh, color with a somewhat small white head. I didn't I did pour it like pretty slow though. <clears throat> oh. That definitely <laughs> smells like Galaxy. Um so sometimes to me like so Galaxy does have that really really overripened pineapple character um like Mosaic does. It's usually not quite as funky but the, I get it in this. It's almost like, um, I don't want to say it's the, you know, some people say like some cop, uh, hops have like a cat pee character. I don't know that I would liken this to cat pee as much as it's almost like an ammonia aroma, which I guess would be the cat pee thing. But um, to me, it's not off-putting. It's actually um, just something I come to expect from those hops. There is some, like, piney mango character. And, uh, just a little bit of, like, peach, peach notes as well. But it's not absolutely zero of, like, that grassy, um, plant material or, like, that woody, um, aroma that you get from some IPAs that kind of smell like old hops. So, this, this is reminding me of, um, what I thought about the last time I had one of their IPAs. Uh, so the last time I had one of their IPAs, it was something that was canned, but I, I don't remember what it was, but it wasn't this Double Galaxy. Uh, <clears throat> and I remember drinking it and thinking, man, like... I don't remember these IPAs being so, like, bready and malty, but they don't taste old. They just have that a really nice, refreshing, fresh hop flavor, but also just as much of a really nice, balanced, bready malt character. And, I mean, this isn't old. It's only about, uh, like, maybe five weeks old. Uh, 
So, I mean, I don't think it has anything to do with that. I think it's just breweries have gone so far to the nth degree in hopping now that if something isn't just absolutely, insanely um, juice-forward, it almost seems like it wasn't hopped enough. And I'm not saying that, but I think I've, some, I've heard other people say things like that. Uh because I imagine when I had this, like, five years ago, when I was uh, probably, I'm thinking when it would have been, like, in my, one of my, my friend's bachelor party, we went to Hill Farmstead. Uh, I was probably, like, blown away by it. And I think it's a really, really good double IPA, but it, not for the reasons that I would have thought of it back then. I think it's really good because it's incredibly balanced, still nice, really fresh hop character. The alcohol is almost, like, non-existent in this. Um, the mouthfeel is like pillowy, pillowy soft. It's really reminiscent of Brew Gentleman. Um, and I'm not trying to say that they copied off of Brew Gentleman. They were obviously doing this way before Brew Gentleman existed. Um, but Brew Gentleman, more along the lines, tries to emulate them, I'm sure. Uh, cause they, some people might say that, um, the Alchemist invented the Hazy IPA, which I don't know really the timing on it. But if they did, they invented it, and Hill Farmstead perfected it, in my opinion, because their their hoppy stuff has always been significantly better um, than Hetty Topper. But that's just my opinion. Yeah, it's. Uh, I do get that big, overripened pineapple character. It's almost a little bit of like a melon note too. Um, the that's another thing that really reminds me of Brew Gentleman is like it's not overly bitter, but it has a nice bitter kick to it. You know that you know you know you're still drinking a, a pretty hot forward beer, um, and it doesn't come across sweet at all it actually comes across dry but when you really think about it you can tell that there is some residual sweetness at least more than you would find in a west coast ipa because the the bitterness level is actually significant enough that if it didn't have that little that little tiny level of under attenuation it would be just palate wrecking um bitterness so it's all it's all about balance with this um Yeah, I mean, I don't know, I, it's one of those beers that it's so good and dialed in that there's really not much to say about it because it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do, but it's not getting weird with anything, um, so that's why I'm trying to, like, pull out other descriptors, but I really don't have any, it's just really nice, fresh, like, pineapple, slight mango hops, Really soft, bready, malt bill. Um, the alcohol is well hidden. Bitterness is on point. Um, yeah, I mean, er everything that I would want in a double IPA is here. Uh, so, you know, it's one of those occasions where it's not necessarily a bad thing that there's not a ton of descriptors to pull out because it's just doing, like, three or four things perfectly. Um and I don't know what this cost. I paid like 28 bucks for two cans of this, a bottle of Juicy, and... Or no, one can of this, one can of Society and Solitude 6, two cans of Marie, and a bottle of Juicy. That was probably under cost. I don't know. Um, the guy who sent it to me is awesome for doing that. But I, I think their cans are actually pretty reasonable, if I, if I remember correctly. This is probably like four bucks or something, uh, which, in my opinion, is definitely worth it. Uh... Would I go out of my way to trade for this? Um, I would say no, but that's not because it's not good. I don't go out of my way to trade for any IPAs, but if you feel the need to seek out the best IPAs and you do are willing to trade for IPAs, then I would absolutely say trade for this. But it's, it is for sure a buy. If I could buy this locally or if I was in Vermont and can get it somewhere you know, at the brewery or, or otherwise, I would definitely buy it. Some of this, um, 
It also gets uh, a little bit of an, an extra point there for uh, being in a 12 ounce can because I am so tired of pounders, to be honest. Uh, the only thing that should be in pounders are beers that are like 6% and below. I don't need imperial anything in a, in a pounder. Um, you know, because it's not like... If, if it's a giant imperial stout... I don't mind, like, I don't want a 750. I don't mind the 500 milliliters, though, because then those are nice to share with a few people. Um, I don't like giant shares anyways. But I'm not I'm not bringing an IPA to a share. I mean, because anyone can get good IPAs anywhere, so that's that's silly anyways. These For me, this is a beer that's just meant to be drank at home or, you know, it, just hanging out with people by yourself. Drink it by yourself, not really splitting with a bunch of people, so I don't need a big serving. Um, I think that's all I got in this one. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.